Now, when you think of ways to manage diabetes, doctors and devices usually come to mind. But what about dogs? Thanks to our canine companion's super sense of smell, they can be trained to raise the alarm when there's a big drop in blood sugar levels, potentially life-saving for those with type 1 diabetes. While such service dogs are common in the West, it's less so in Asia. Natalie Edwards spoke to one such trainer in Singapore to find out why. It's her smelling a little really gross, but she won't stop until I get something to drink. That's butter, telling her owner Stella that she's hypoglycemic, meaning her glucose level is low. Butter also knows when to fetch Stella her sweetened beverage when she can't reach for it herself. The more severe uh, situation would be when, you know, you like hitting close to zero sugar, blood sugar and your brain starts to um, not be able to handle it. Like uh, you start to sweat and literally feel like you are dying. And, and that's a very scary feeling. And, and the worst thing is that at that stage, sometimes you can't even help yourself. You can't even get out of bed. You can't even get yourself uh, 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 some sugar. And, and the worst thing is that even if someone comes to ask you, what's wrong with you, you can't articulate because the ability to speak is gone as well. Stella has trained four other clever canines, including sugar. Sit, sugar. Sugar, sit. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Well done, good job. The eight-year-old Singapore special belongs to Kaylee, who suffers from congenital hyperinsulinism, a rare genetic disorder that causes seriously low blood sugar in babies and children. So typically, what sort of dogs are more suited for this kind of training? Actually, the dog breed itself does not really matter too much. Um, the dog's temperament and character actually plays a bigger role. So we would want to find a dog that uh, has a strong sense of responsibility, a dog that likes to work. How do you train a dog to get them to be able you know, to sniff out somebody with a uh, low sugar level? What we do is that we will collect um, Saliva samples, you know, we crunch up uh, tissue paper, just tissue paper, you know, you don't need very fancy props. So when we have a hypoglycemia, uh, we just spit as much saliva as we can onto this tissue paper, put it in Ziploc bag, freeze it. And well, next morning, <laughs> take it out of the fridge, let the dog smell it. The minute the dog shows interest in the smell, just give it a treat. So diabetic alert dogs sound amazing, but I'm wondering why is it that we don't have as many you know, of such dogs in Singapore and Asia compared to you know, US and Europe? Well, I think it's a, a matter of culture because the Western society, they have this um, culture of using dogs uh, for uh, you know, hunting and, and things like that. So, so when they have a problem, their natural uh, thought process is like, can a dog do this? So just how good are they as blood sugar detectives? Well, the science is inconclusive. Some studies have shown the dogs to be accurate 70% of the time. But the diabetic alert dog industry is unstandardized and largely unregulated. But whether it's hype or hope, some consider the enhanced bonding experience with the pooch pretty special. So Kelly, you know, after all that training with uh, sugar here, do you feel a lot closer to your dog? Yes, I do. I always feel very protected, especially because she sleeps beside me every day. And I love her to bed. <laughs> Oteli Edwards, CNA, Singapore.